Hey what's up guys it's Apollo Ochia here back with a new short movie the name of this short movie is what if Naruto was banished and became an emperor and yeah guys it's a story suggested to me by anime boy 666 i hope you like this video and if you do then please leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you like the content of this channel and without further ado let's begin with our story our story begins in Hyuga compound as we see Hiyashi Hyuga standing outside of the council room. He has just came outside of a council meeting that was held between the Yuga elders and himself regarding the heir to the Yuga clan, his daughter. As he sighed, a sad sigh, because he knew now what the fate of his daughter was going to be. Kami, I just hope that there is some way I can save her from this. He told me, I really love our daughters, but tried to save her and I failed as a father and as a leader. Before he could go back to his room or his musing of misery, Ananbu came. Yashisama, you have been called by the council as there is a meeting that you need to attend. As Yashi left, so they have arrived without Jiha, correct? Yes. Naruto Uzumaki was able to capture Sasuke Uchiha, but he was not in the best of conditions because he has suffered quite punctures. As Yashi's eyes widen, to be able to then bring him back, hmm, that is quite inspiring. As after half an hour, Yashi made his way towards the council chamber to see that the council was in uproar. As he took a seat, this meeting is in session now. Stop your bickering, says Tsunade as she too was now there. So, what is this meeting about? Sasuke Uchiha has been injured badly by the demon and we wish to have him executed for that. What? Are you out of your mind? Why would I execute a shinobi for doing its duty? Because the Uchiha was harmed by him and he's dangerous. Who said these things? Their teammate Sakura Haruno did. My daughter, said Mabuki Haruno. As then Jirai arrived, my godson is not dangerous. What do you mean? Jirai, your godson. The elders knew what it was, but they were going to go against it because it was their wish to have Naruto as their weapon. Their leader's legacy be damned. As Jirai was about to spill the beans, but Danza stopped it. Jirai, you will be executed if you spill that secret. It was Who's then secret and you want to ruin his legacy? We do not want to hear your bickering, Jiraiya. You can leave for all week here. We are the strongest village and we do not need you as much as the demon, said one of the civilians. Really now? Jiraiya then threw his headband there. I quit then. Fuck you and you all. I hope you rot rotted that. And with that, Jiraiya left before even Tsunade could stop him. Great. Now what do you want? We want him executed. Not gonna happen. If anything, any of you clanners might suggest, I think we should do it. Said Inuichi, as everyone turns towards Inuichi. Yeah, put the kid out of its misery. How long are we going to torture him? It's just better this way. You really are a sick bastard, aren't you? As Shikaku then said, getting out of his stupid. Oh, what a drag. Okage-sama, we can have him exiled or banished. We do not want to cause any more trouble to the kid than we already have. And plus, it's better this way. Jirai-sama is already out of the village, so maybe he can take Naruto with him somewhere safe. As the clan heads, those who hated Naruto, mainly in Izuka clan head and Yamanaka clan had, and some minor clan heads alongside the civilians and elders gritted their teeth because their plan was different. No, we will not allow this. He will be executed. I am the Kage. Don't push your limits, or I will have you executed for treason. You can try, Tsunade, but you can't. Really now? Anbu, execute this bastard. As Anbu did so, the council was quite scared now. A little bit at least. Even though they were still arrogant. We will not stand for this Tsunade. We will go towards Daimyo. You can go after this meeting for all I care. Anbu, summon Naruto Uzumaki here. As Naruto arrived, 
after half an hour, limping there. What is it, Bahachan? Naruto said as he was hurt badly. Naruto, the council in all worthiness decided that you are to be banished. We wanted to execute you, demon. We have had enough with you, but I did my job. What did I do wrong? You hurted him. That's what you did. Can't you see what he did to me? You should have accepted it gracefully. As Naruto looked at them with disgust, wow, what kind of sick bastards are you? As the anvil laughed at Naruto's question because they were too getting tired of the civilian council and their arrogance. Because all they did was just sit there and order them around and they won't do anything because they were loyal to Tsunade. As Tsunade then said, Naruto, please, you have to listen. It has been decided and I cannot go against it. These bastards have overruled me. So you have to leave. Uh, I guess so. As Naruto put a headband as many of them laughed. Yes, the finally demon is gone as many whispers heard as Naruto reached the door as he turned back to look at them with cold eyes instead of the caring eyes of the 13 year old. Mark my words Konoha, you will regret this. This is going to be the biggest. And when, when I say biggest, believe it, biggest mistake in your entire life. As Naruto left, hmm, <laughs> yeah, right, it's just bickering. As after that, Naruto was leaving towards his apartment to pack his stuff when Jiraiya arrived. Hey kid, meet me outside, I have gotten things what I needed. We will leave. As Hiyashi also had ended the meeting and he knew what he had to do. But before that, Sakura, Ino, Sasuke, and Kiba, alongside with the um, rest of the Rookie 9, ex except for Neji, Tenten, and Lee, and Hinata, arrived there. Even Shikamaru wasn't even there and alongside Choji, while the other were, as Naruto was slapped by Sakura, as Sasuke smirked, see Naruto, this is what happens. When you go against an elite and Uchiha, you should have let me go, but you didn't. You twisted a story, didn't you? Hm, I did, Naruto Baka. But why? You made me promise to bring him back. Hm, can't you see? You were a lovesick puppy that I used. Used for my own gain to bring him back. Now he's back, and I don't need you anymore. And, plus I already knew you were a demon to begin with, as Naruto's eyes widen. Hm. Yeah, a lowly demon. No name, no clan, nothing. Well, I hope as hell that you're happy now, because I'll be going. And you don't need to bother with me. As Kiba said, yeah, sure as hell. As they began to laugh and leave, as Naruto was inside his room crying, clenching his fist, as he swore that he will make them pay somewhat. As Kurama, or Kyubi no Kitsune, was also seeing this and was somewhat pitiful towards the kid who he was also tormenting alongside the rest of his tormentors. Listen, kid, can you hear me? Oh, yeah, what do you want? Laugh at my misery? Ha <sighs> ha, big joke. <sighs> Listen, kid, I'm not going to laugh. I know what it feels like to be betrayed by one you trust. Trust me. Yeah, I guess so. So what do you want? How about we strike a deal? I'm listening. Naruto said, almost instantly. Wait, don't you want to protect them? There are some loved ones here. <laughs> I do not know now. Half of them didn't even arrive. And half of them are all just use using me. I do not know who to believe or who to not to anymore. As Naruto shed tears. As Kyuubi comforted Naruto. As Naruto packed his stuff. After one hour, he was at the gates to see that Jiraiya was there. Ready to go, Gaki? Yeah, let's go. As Naruto was about to leave, Hiyashi arrived with Hinata in tow. She had a bag on her back. Naruto, what is it? I want you to take Hinata with you. What? Why? Because I will not be able to protect her anymore from my clan, clan's council. Why is it that all of the clans and even Konoha has a council that we barely need. Hmm. 
Maybe Nita may want to create someone to help him do the paperwork. It was worrying here on Naruto. Yeah, I guess he also made some kind of mistakes in his past. I will protect her. Thank you, Naruto. Wait, said some voices as Neji, also with a backpack, alongside Ten Ten and Konohamaru and Hanabi came. Hanabi, what are you doing here? I'm not going to stay here, father. I know that I'm better at Daijutsu and even Juken, but I do not want to rule over a clan who is so corrupted to the core. Yeah, Naruto, we will go with you. The reason we didn't came alongside those bastards were because we were packing our stuff. We wanted to leave with you. As Naruto was happy, where is Shika and Choji? Choji tried, but his parents wouldn't let him. Shika, also, is here. Ah, <sighs> what a drag. I had to evade Eno over and over again to come here, you know. Troublesome plant. Making me feel all guilty and stuff. I snarled a chuckle somewhat. As Jira smiled, his godson was feeling happy again, somewhat. He had some people he could trust and rely upon. As after that, they left. And when they were going, they came face to face with Itachi and Kisame. Kisame was dealing with Jiraiya now, engaging in a taijutsu battle while Itachi stood there. Why are you all here? And what, where is your headband, Naruto? I was banished, and my friends decided to come with me. As Itachi's eyes widened, what happened? I would like to know. Why? So you could laugh at me in misery as well? Fine, I'll enlighten you. Your bastard of a brother shoved four chidori straight through my body. Two straight above my heart's and two in my lungs and arteries. While I was bleeding and huffing, my sensei abandoned me. My other teammate abandoned me and your brother twisted the story and put the whole council and Konha against me and got me banished. Happy now? Wait, Naruto. What happened? He tried to go towards Orochimaru. That's what happened. He was given a hiki by him in the second stage of the tuning exams and he's been acting even more cocky and bastardly after that damn it i told him to get hatred but not corrupted i'm sorry naruto <sighs> i should have killed him wait what yes if i knew something like this would have happened i should have killed him ended the clan then and there and now he's in the wrong hands naruto i thought you might be able to free him from his darkness what are you talking about kisame stop what? It was getting better now, said Kisame as he jumped back away near Kakashi, near Itachi. I guess I will help you. Where are you going now? I don't know. We do not have anywhere to go. I see. You can go to West. I'll help you. Why? What do you get out of it? Naruto said as Jira also came there and said, Yes, Itachi, what will you get out of it? I thought you wanted to die at your brother's hands. I sure did, but after seeing what he has turned into, I doubt that. And I think that I have to stop taking the medicine pills that I have been taking to weakening myself in order to be at the same par level for my brother to defeat me. Wait, you were... You were taking pills to decrease your stamina and strength because you wanted to die at his hands, yes. That is the only thing I saw as my redemption, but not anymore. I see him as dead. That is my redemption now. To kill him and free him from the curse of hatred that I put him upon. And for that, I will help you until that time comes. And Konha 6, I mean Naruto and his friends, alongside Jiraiya and even... Itachi and Kisame disappeared as if they had vanished from the face of the earth. As after traveling for almost two weeks straight, they reached a boundary. It was a huge wall. Behind these walls is the west, where we can go. And no one will come after us, not even the Ikartsuki has dared to steep out of this spot. Are you sure about this, Itachi? said Kisame. Are you scared, Kisame? No, not way in hell I am scared. I'm just getting antsy, that's all. As Nor Itachi looked at all of them, I will be with you along the way. 
Naruto, as an apology for what I have caused you. No, all you did was open my eyes. Eyes to how naive I was and how wrong Gigi was. Naruto said these words as Itachi and Jiraiya's eyes widen. He said to me that the people will all need time to heal. But they didn't heal, they turned arrogant when they gained power. That is what happened. As three years has passed since then, and Konoha has lost almost all of its power. Two of its sonnings, which were loyal, gone. Tsunade was resigned and taken power from by the council, and it handed to them, and many of its strong shinobis left. Almost all of the Anbu quitted who were loyal to Tsunade, and they, along with Tsunade, vanished as well after one year. And now, all those Chunins and Jonins were left who hated Naruto, alongside those clans that hated him. And Sasuke was treated as the prince as the next Kage. And the council deemed that he was worthy of using the fourth Hokage's jutsu, but when they got there, there was nothing left, except for a middle finger mark left by Jiraiya. I don't deem Konoha worthy of having my students jutsu, so I'm taking them with me. Fuck off. As Sasuke was angry, beyond imagination. And after finding out that Hinata, who he thought was worthy made and make Naruto jealous and make use of her body, were also gone, he was even more antsy. And not only that, the cherry on top was that even Suna broke its alliance alongside all of the alliances they had and formed with the other villages in front of their eyes, as now Konoha was nothing more than a, a mere shell of its former glory, all thanks to its arrogant council, but they still thought that they were the strongest, and there were skirmishes here and there, as Donzo was the one who was in control, but he was lacking, lacking a Jinchuriki, when he tried to kidnap another village's Jinchuriki, his onbus were dealt with, and Konoha was given warning, setting him on the edge to not do that again because he knew the next time will be fatal for Konoha and for him. As for Orochimaru, two more years later his dead body was found, mauled and his whole village was destroyed. As we go back to Naruto and Ko who were on the west now, as they were now inside a kingdom known as Tempest that was formed by the great demon lord Rimuru. As when Naruto arrived there, after the death of Rimuru Tempest, everything went to hell as the demons who were there living peacefully were now again hunted by humans who were corrupted. Naruto after seeing this it was enraged beyond imagination and with the help of the immortal dragon bell Dora who was there and Rimuru's friend, after Naruto befriended him, the battle once again began. As soon after, the Tempest ruled over all and even captured the territories of the former demon kings who were taken by the humans. And now everyone, even the holy capital who was destroyed and left into ruins were under the thumb of Naruto Uzumaki, the Nine Tails Tempest. As the areas were assigned to his friends, Shikamaru handled the Demon Territory 1. There were a total of 6. The main one was Tempest, in which Naruto resided. Jirai handled the second one. Third one was with Neji and Tenten. Fourth one was given to Konohamaru and Hanabi, who were now 15. And the sixth one being the Tempest, as Naruto and Hinata resided there, as they had fallen in love. As did Konohamaru and Hanabi and Neji and Tenten. What of our boy Shika? Well, her wife was back in Elemental Nation, who he was still in contact with. Yeah, Temari, who else? As on the other side, back in Konoha, Konoha was now fearing that while Naruto and the rest of the crew were finally living the life they deserved after paying off and conquering almost half of the West, as their, the West that was under their control was the most peaceful one out there. And the Garski were still looking out for the Jinchurikis, but whenever they intervened, some dark elf like creatures appeared and beat the shit out of them, even without using of any chakra. 
They were able to manipulate any elements, but without the usage of chakra or anything. As Danzo had gotten information about that and has tracked them down to the west. As there was a con council meeting in Konoha, what should we do? Suna, Kumo, Kiri, and Diva has formed an alliance to destroy us once and for all. They will pay because we are still the strongest. We have Uchiha-sama. Hmm, yeah. They're nothing against me. They're beneath me, said Sasuke with arrogance, lacing out his voice. But Danzo knew better because he knew if you underestimate them. Four villages against one, they were as good as Uzumaki's, dead. He was trying to get inside those Ushiokakure, but to no avail. He even tried to Tensei to Mito and control her, but she wouldn't even budge. She was the one who created the seal and knew the weaknesses. And even though she couldn't do anything to hurt him, she didn't budge. And at the end, Danzo had to let her go, free. And he couldn't call his sensei because he knew if his senses arrived there, they will beat the shit out of him. And any Uzumaki will be the same situation as Mito. As this was going on, Danzo was brought out of his musing. Danzo-sama, have you any thoughts? What should we do about this? Wait, what? Uh, yes, I have. I have tracked down that there are some dark creatures that look like humans with pointy ears I can use elements without the usage of chakra and to greater extent and they came from west we can get them as our slaves I heard about a kingdom that rose in west tempest how Homura said Koharu I have been reading about it the people who come from west as traders have told us I heard tales about them they are said to be conquered over half of the west out there, this Tempest Kingdom. And those people are from here. Can you believe it? They are from elemental nations. We can ask for help from them. Hmm, they will help us and they will hand over the kingdom to me peacefully if they want to serve us or else I'll just trample them. On the other side. Naruto and his spies has got information about this as he has called for annual meeting quite early as one month later the meeting has assembled as one by one the archdukes of the territory has arrived Neji and Denden of the territory 2 and Jiraiya of the territory 1 and the rest of the gang also arrived. As Naruto was sitting on his throne alongside his empress, Hinata, as all of them bowed and took the seats that were there, made out of gold, as Naruto then began, my spies have gotten information of what is happening to our former village. What? Wait here, as she'll be arriving. As she did, she wore a black mask and black robes. As she dropped the mask to reveal she was Tsunade, but younger. Hey Gaki. Hey Bachan. How was your mission? It was great. Sinare, the intelligence and spy gathering alongside the best medic in the world. So, what did you find? Well, it's interesting. Konoha is now a minor village, but they don't seem to consider that. In their imagination or council's imagination, they're still the strongest. And they're coming here to demand you hand over the kingdom. As everyone began to laugh, as Naruto then cleaned his eyeball. Wow, that is the biggest joke I heard as Veldora came and did QB, who are bickering with each other. Oh, hello friend Naruto. What is it that you are... Wait, why is everyone gathered here? Yes, Naruto. What is it the reason that everyone is here? During those years of war, well, alongside Veldora, Naruto has also gained friendship with Kurama. And although Kurama was still sealed inside Naruto, he could now roam around freely thanks to a magic seal that was made to alternate the original one. Well, we have news from our previous home. QB got serious and so did Veldora. What does those bastards want? Well, they want our kingdom. <laughs> Good joke. No, really, what do they want? As I said, our kingdom. And how are we going to trample them? We're not. We're just going to refuse and let them know what kind of mistake they made. 
After all, I Naruto Uzumaki and Namikaze vowed that I will make them pay for the biggest mistake of their life. And that is what I'm going to do when they arrive here. <laughs> oh, you really are a cunning bastard, aren't you? Why yes, yes I am. As everyone began to laugh, as Kyuubi then got serious and ended their laughter, Naruto. Are you really just going to do that? No, Kram, obviously not. I'm going to do more than that. I'm going to support Konoha's destruction. Naruto, are you sure about this? Yes, I know that I resent what they did and it is for the betterment. Konoha shouldn't exist anymore. It is only shaming what it was used to be. It's just a husk now, nothing more. Husk filled with corrupted people that are destroying its image. The damage has already been done, Jiraiya Tsunade. And the more we wait, the more damage will be done to what its predecessor held. I know. I know. Said Jiraiya. It was still kind of heartbreaking that his home has to be destroyed, but it was the only way. And plus, he was an archduke of a Tempest territory. And everyone respected him. And he had the love of his life, his Hime now, who he married happily. After she arrived there, as many of the Anbus were also in her team, and they weren't happy about Konha being destroyed, but it was needed as their king had demanded it. And on the other side, Konha has prepared a delicate Sasuke Uchiha, Ino Yamanaka, Sakura Haruno, and all those bastards who were there. And Choji, after the loss of his friends, he couldn't take it. And he was getting ill, very, very ill, until he passed away due to a heartache and heartbreak syndrome. It is a real disease, by the way, as he was laid to rest. As for Guy, he alongside Lee left, becoming nomads, because they couldn't find Nardo after one year of seeing that how unyouthful their village has become. Kashi also stayed there. He wanted to repay Obito. He has already failed his sensei. So all he could do was to support Sasuke. So he was alongside the delegates as well. As these were the people who were sent there. As it took them one month to arrive there to see that the Tempest was quite a huge kingdom. And it's much more developed one. It took them one another month to enter the main capital. And the main Tempest territory. Inside it. There was a huge castle where the king resided alongside his queen. As they entered to see that it was Hinata who was sitting on the queen's throne. As they gulped. Shit. As Sasuke smirked, so you're here. You should be with me and Uchiha and Elite, not with this bastard. As suddenly many, many spears and swords were drawn. How dare you do this to your future king? Future king? Are you high on some... Something, Sasuke. Because... You're nothing. Nothing more than trash. I am an Uchiha. No. You are an impersonator. Uchiha's were great. But you? <laughs> you are nothing. As Naruto appeared inside as a king and sat on the throne. And so did all of their friends as they took the seat of the Archdukes. As their eyes widened. N N Naruto said Kagashi. Shut up, Harake. I will not listen to your bickering. Now get to the point. Why are you here? Demon, this is a way to respect your spirits, said Sakura. Now if the banshee has stopped barking, I ask you again. Don't test my patience. Why are you here? We need your help, said Ino. Konha needs help. Naruto. Not today, you know. Your mind games will end today. <sighs> Damn it, demon knows my mind games, said Eno. As then door opened to reveal the dragon in front of their eyes and N nine tails. Wait, if Naruto was here and the nine tail was there as Naruto smirked. Hey kid, hey Kurama. Everyone meet Kurama the nine tails, the hero of the war, and my best friend Veldora. The immortal dragon. As everyone's jaws dropped. As 
Kakashi knew that he had made a mistake, but it was already too late. Naruto, please. Konoha is your home, your parents' territory. My parents' territory, you say? How about I introduce you to them? As both of the parents walked outside as well. S Sensei, shut up, Harake. You are nothing to me. You'll be better as dead as Obito by now. As then Kushina came, who is this redhead beauty? As then his mother came, my best friend, you damn bastard. M mother? Don't call me that, said Mikoto with disgust. I'm sorry, Bachan, but you had to be here to witness your son. He's disgusting. You should have been killed by Itachi. I don't know what took over me to protect you. If I knew you had been turned into such a bastard, I should have strangled your neck when you were an infant, said Mikoto. It, Sasuke was heartbroken after hearing this verse, and then Itachi came. Mother, he killed us. Why is he here with you? He killed us because we were planning a coup, Sasuke. He did this to protect you. We requested it. But you? You turn into something that we feared we will turn into. I fear we and our clan will turn into. The monster we feared. The monster Itachi feared. And it's time now to put you to rest. As Mikoto arrived with a katana, as Sasuke blocked it, as tears were in his eyes, Mother, please stop. No. You are not my son. You are not even his son. Fugaku never stooped so low to use his comrade to climb to the top. He even worked hard. Itachi worked hard. We all worked hard. We never take pride in our genes, in our eyes. And you, out of all the bunch, did. As his heart was stabbed by Mikoto. As Kona Shinobis became alert. Who the hell are you, bitch? As Itachi appeared and shoved the Chidori straight through Sakura's chest. My mother, Horuno, as both of them were injured, leave. Take this trash and throw it outside of the vest. They're not to be here. Mikoto looked at her son one more time with cold eyes. You disgust me. And throw this katana away. I'll have a new one. Sasuke was alive still. Even though his heart was pierced, it was not pierced completely. It was bleeding badly. And after having healed, they returned back to Konoha much more damaged and broken, as the council demanded what happened, and Kakashi was the only one who was able to tell. Funny thing, you know, all those years ago, Naruto Uzumaki said he will make us pay, right? Yes. So what? It was child, childish wishfulness. He will be dead by the way now. He is the king of the West and Tempest. Everyone is with him. Sinari, Chiraya, and even Shikamaru and all of them and they are the archdukes while he is the king and Hinata is the empress and not only that his father and mother are also there and Kyuubi is free from his jail as everyone's eyes widen I try to control it but Kyuubi's just murdered at me leaking its killer intent and Itachi and Mikoto are there as well and from the looks of it they they are strong. I don't know how he did it, but he revived them. That is not the only thing he did. Said Arashi Uzumaki who arrived there. Who are you? Uh, ask your elders. These little kiddies might know me. Arashi Uzumaki, what are you doing here? I'm here to give you a warning. Ever set foot in Tempest and there will be war. A war that you will not win. And we will make what the four villages are about to you look like child's play. And with this warning, Arashi disappeared in a red flash. Was that Harishin? said Danzo, gritting his teeth. After all this planning, after getting Uzumaki's out of the side and doing all these deeds, he was failing. Prepare for war against Tempest. We will go there. The Snarda had already made allies with the four villages. And... When the time came, they arrived there, but what waited them was millions upon millions of species and a dragon for God's sake alongside all the bijus. And then what happened next was inevitable. They were trampled. 
Even a Kartsky was on our side now and trampled over Zetsu and Otsuki Kaguya who were arriving there alongside Konoha. As now the civilians and the elders were captured and brought in front of Naruto on their knees as Naruto and everyone was laughing at them. Even Tsunade and they were pleading like headless chickens to everyone. Remember my words Konoha? I told you. Mark my words, I'll make you pay. And here we are. You should have never been born. It was a mistake, said Donzo. Really now, Dad? What do you think? As Minato came. Hmm. What he's saying is just nothing more than a rubbish of a fallen and broken man. And Donzo, want to know what your parents think? Here, allow me to show you their souls. As a golden renegade appeared in Naruto's eyes, as he summoned two Adotenseis, I found your parents. And guess what they did? They hated you. They disgusted you. As both of them arrived. See what your son has done. Are you proud of him? As he was slapped. This thing is not my son. He's a demon crawling in human skin. Said the mother. As Danzo even though he was old and cold in heart, but he felt his heartache after hearing his mother's word like that. As he looked down in shame, <laughs> he's better off dead, and I hope you go to hell, you bastard, where you belong, a true demon. As after that, the both parents left. Thank you. See, Shimura, even your own parents abandoned me while my died protecting me. <laughs> How the tables have turned. It was you who was a mistake, not me. Execute them all and make an example out of them. As everyone was executed inside Konoha walls and Konoha was left. As Hinata was leaving, the Yuga clan attacked her, mainly the main branch. But they were surprised when she involved in a cloak and destroyed them all. As Hiyashi arrived, Hinata. Hello, father. Meet your grandchildren, Boruto Uzumaki Namekaze Yuga and Hanabi Uzumaki Namekaze Yuga. As Hiyashi met with both of them and had a family reunion, as Neji Tenten also had a children by now. As Maito Gai and Lee arrived at their home's destruction and met with their new leader, Naruto. It had been 10 years since then and Sasuke was now a nomad and was almost broken and Sakura was paralyzed, you know, mold and looked like a disgusting whore, nothing else. No more was she a princess or Mrs. Uchiha, nothing. Sasuke was banished from Uchiha clan, he was nothing. His eyes were sealed away, his chakra was sealed away, there all were and they were now nothing more than wasting their life away while well, Naruto who the thought was a demon was enjoying his life in lavishness as a king. A life that they wanted but never got. And a life that Naruto never chose but the life chose him. As time went on and the peaceful era regained until those who were wasting their life passed away. Some brought by bandits, some raped and some even killed in their sleep. As for Naruto, he became the most loved person in elemental nation and the West, gaining more influence and more power, and having a happy family and friends. As this is where I'm going to be leaving the story of guys, I hope you like this one and if you do please leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you like the content of this channel as this is Apollo Uchiha and I'm signing out.